Uh, oh, we're all healed. Look at that. Nothing there. Can I catch these? Nope. Okay. Let's see what awaits us inside. Human presence detected within Zero Lab. Is he a robot? It's like a Final Fantasy storyline right now. Deactivating sleep mode. Hello, Stevie. Thank you for coming. Ooh, Angry Marino. No, back to your Pokeball. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Maridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a, ter a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Turo. Yeah, I figured that one out. I am an artificial intelligence the Professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real Professor passed away during the incident that destroyed Research Station Number 4. Ah, uh, that's kind of sad. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. Damn it, Carl. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for that Maridon to survive and thrive. That is why he threw himself in front of your Maridon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Stevie, the reason I asked you to come with me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. Nice catch, John. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. I got a feeling this is going to be a sad ending. It's already pretty melancholy, so... I think we're just going to get sad and sad and sad. Can I, like, research anything here? No? Item. Booster energy. That sounds pretty interesting. Anything over here? No. Nope, nope, nope. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Stevie, it truly is a great relief to me that you came. That's what she said. I will answer my questions. Any questions you may have, is there anything you wish to know? Uh, sure. What is an AI, really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of all those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop a such a sophisticated AI at present, but the crystals make up the, make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. There also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unable to sustain life. I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for his son Arvin to, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. 
Is there anything else you wish to ask? What is the time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Tura had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you may call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw future Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else you wish to ask? The original professor had a dream. A world in which future Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future, and this power has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping to the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Iron Treads. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in letting such a tragedy occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original Professor ever devised. Stevie, you have become formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the team, the dream Turo wants to cherish. Yeah, sure. I like to break things. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. Future Pokemon hype! I need a hype emote. Hype, hype, hype! What if the game runs choppy on purpose because of the time machine happening? And once we destroy the time machine, the game is going to run smooth. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the Wrestle Phenomenon. How did he get the technology to build the time machine in the first place? That's what I would like to know. I agree, John. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Violet book. It was very like the professor put the final key he would need to be in that book, of all places. He loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Violet book upon the pedestal here, you'll be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the time machine, it will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am. My own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I'll become no more than a battle machine, bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by all the various champions of the Paldea region. You probably stink, then. Having seen the bond between you- Stitchy's online! Having seen the bond between you and your Pokémon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for the fight, please place the Violet Puck upon the pedestal. Yeah, we're good. Stitch fight! Let's do this! <clears throat> ID confirmed. Professor Turo. Access granted. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Yellow height. Shutdown command overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Stevie. I just it just you you just popped up on my screen that you're online. So we said stitchy height. Please defeat me. Ball. At 
last my dream is within reach. And you're not a seven getting in the way. AI or Al Turo. I want to call him Al now. Al Turo has initiated the battle. Iron Moth? Badass. Stitchy, show some decorum. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Um... I'm guessing you are Iron Bug. So we're just gonna U-turn out of here. We're gonna go to Serrat Edge. Bitter Blade you. Because if you're an Iron Bug, this will be four times effective. Your steel bug is a sludge wave. What do you think you were trying to accomplish there? This is the power that just the distant future holds. Splendid, isn't it? Let's bitter blade you. This charge, what a moveset you have. That's not very effective, so what are you? Bug or steel. I'm guessing you're electric, obviously, as electric moves you've been using. We'll just take you out. Not for nothing, but most of these uh, futuristic Pokemon look steel. And almost none of them have been. What are you gonna send? Iron Thorns? I'm just gonna keep going. Look at you! Look at you, Tyranitar! Let's see if Bitter Blade works on you. <laughs> it does not. No, Carl. No. This is interesting, child. Do you actually understand the future Pokémon's weaknesses? Iron Bundle. Snowscape. Go ahead, heal yourself. I really like the look of the future mons either. I like the look of the past mons. Stitchy, show some decorum. Please try. These things are wiping the floor with me. Flower trick you. Yeah. Soup. 
super effective. What? Some sort of error has occurred here, recalculating for critical damage. Did his head just pop out? Did you see that? Iron Jugulus. That was, um... Flying Dark. That was Flying Dark. We have, we have, uh, Thunder Punch. Does this guy have six Master Balls? Eighty. He has six Master Balls. Oh, it does have one shot. Stay paralyzed. Stay paralyzed. Damn it. Yeah! That was my thought exactly. Play rough. Yeah, let's go Tinkaton. We'll go Tinkaton's play rough. Tinkaton's got good defense, though. Oh my god, these things are beefy. Let's get a crit here. Oh, it was close. It was close. Don't miss. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, good catch, John. Iron Valiant. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Quark Drive, he puts my iron on the Its attack was heightened. Let's Gigaton and hammer you. Or not. Or not. Or not. Hey, Carl starts with a Cyndaquil. Uh, let's go to you. Why not, right? We're kind of getting our butts kicked right now. Let's go close combat. Okay, that wasn't very effective. Uh, we should have just went, um... We should have just went Rage Fist. We are... We are almost dead. We are almost dead. Okay, not very effective. To max revive. Oh, 
Oh, the Max revives Sarah Ledge. And if you can live this, good, we are going to Max revive another one. Max revive Infernate. Annihilate. Darnacle, you serve your country with honor. Let's go to Sarah Ledge. Would have loved to have got a poison off at some point. Uh, let's try Shadow Claw. Nice. Yes. That was a tough fight. It's tough when you don't know the types of anything. And so, as of 2.22 a.m. on 12.22, I am now... Is it your birthday? Or are you just like twos? Hey, thank you for the follow! Oh, Carl, we're at the end of the game and you're doing this? My 222nd Twitch follow at 2.22 a.m. on 12-2-22. Thank you. I really gotta change this to once per stream. I loved it, Daniel. I loved it. In fact, I loved it so much. Give you another shout out. Stevie. What is this? Did you already beat the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything. Time machine has finally... has finally been stopped. You're really not my dad, are you? Daniel, thank you for following and hanging out with me tonight. Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry you were alone for so long, Arvin. D Dad! Security system failure. Security system failure. Stitchy! Show some decorum. There is no Pikachu love allowed in my chat. Whoa, 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 what's going on now? Is another army of Pokemon on its way here? It cannot be. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. Ugh, was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs except those registered to put on his ID. Program initializing. Gathering terrestrial energy. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. Oh my goodness. This is on straight? You 
You are challenged by the Paradise Protection Protocol. Pikachu is one of those annoying Smash characters. Paradise fused Maridon. Ha! <laughs> We're impotent. We can't use anything. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Let's run. Running away will put everyone else in danger. Ah, some crazy electrical signal jamming our Pokeballs. Even I can't get them open. That's totally cheating, and you call yourself an adult. Here we go! Why does this look crooked? Is this crooked? Here we go, he's getting beefy! Sweet. Maridon versus Maridon. Maridon's hard in it. Hard on? Hard on engine? Um, power jam. I believe that he used hard on energy. It has to be. Uh, user is has breast lies. Well, we're not going to use that. You will fall here with the garden paradise of achieving nothing in the end. Holy shit, that did damage. We're just stuck doing power gems then. You will not be allowed to destroy my paradise. Obstacles to my goals will be eliminated. Who's charging up? Special defense rose? This looks like we'd be bad. Ah, hang in there, Stevie. Is like a max potion on you since we're about to get rocked. Data says I'm superior, fallen from the foundation of which my dream may be built. Hyper Beam! Are we supposed to lose this battle? Ooh! Special attack more sharply. I, I feel like we're supposed to lose this battle. It's stronger than us, it moves hit harder. Ooh, it's gotta recharge. Oh man, we can really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey, Stevie, your terror orb is glowing. Alright, there we go. 
Stevie, Mariah, and Terrestrialize and finish this off. Ooh, our attack rose, too. Look at that. And our defense rose. And our special attack rose. And our special defense rose. And our speed rose. Wait, you can get Chinese and raids? Did it! It's not going berserk anymore. How? How very astounding. Do you think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections? Are you back to normal? Yes. A completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever perceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead provided your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves. The courage to hold... Is this the Triforce? Wisdom? Courage? Oh, it's just fortitude, not power. And the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how challenging of a future may await you, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now with pride. I thank you, Stevie. I thank you all. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I'm here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. Huh? What, what does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching all of you and your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied your freedom. The way that you all came together, working in league with your fellows and carrying for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourselves, throwing all you are into battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek, nor to fight for, a treasure of all your own. Ah, and that way you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I have wish that I too might be as free as you all, free to seek out which that I might treasure above all else not bound your own treasure as long as i remain here the time machine will not stop for i am inextricably connected to it so i've made a decision i will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that i've dreamed of what you can't just leave now right when we finally reach you all right let's not act like we have this emotional connection to this professor that they literally just met other than arvin the other three have just met this guy today. What? You can't just leave right now, right when we finally reached you. I am not going, only to so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my, my desire to see the future world for myself. Is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? We all have a connection to John. Arvin. I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all your thoughts and wishes of the professor. And so I understand better than any that your father truly loved you. You... you can't. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No? I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin? Maridon, Stevie, it is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Dad!
Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Robo Dad, no. The fifteen minutes is up. Thank you, Carl. How could you just go? Dad. Harvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name, using his voice and wearing his face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just, I... Sorry, I, I don't know what I'm saying. That, that's okay. I guess Maridon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form, how cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like that, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not just skip over the big win here. Stevie Maridon just saved all of Paldea. That's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Stevie. Yeah, why can't we go in the future with him? Maybe that's in the DLC. Because you know there's going to be DLC for this game. Yeah, that's that's my bud Stevie for you. You know, Arvin, uh, even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having real fun adventure of his own in the future. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Stevie? Let's head on out. You said it. Come on, everyone. Let's get out of here and make our way home. Now what? Are credits about to roll? Yeah, I'm surprised that Arceus didn't get DLC. I never actually finished Arceus. Hey, how about we stay on this black screen forever? That would be swell. Let's just let's just not move on from this blank screen here. Okay, everyone, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road and get a little more fun out of this Avenger. I don't really... Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Stevie, not you too. 